Without wood, a fire goes out. Without a gossip, a quarrel dies down. The words from Proverbs 2620, kicking off Faith Filter with Pastor Jesse today. Oh, yeah, things are about to heat up. Pastor Jesse, welcome. How you doing? Good morning, Erica. Doing well, thank you. How about yourself? Just absolutely wonderful and fascinated by this article you wrote for Men's Journal. And honestly, I cannot wait to have a conversation about gossip today. We're going to talk about the truth of gossip together. Well, you know, and here's the thing. I've been sitting here thinking about this pastor jesse so often gossip is like fried chicken like you know for a second there it's really wonderful and delicious and all of a sudden you don't feel so good about it so what do you do (laughs) when you find yourself like you're caught in the middle of it you didn't even expect it you didn't ask for it but now you're stuck in the middle i like that word picture because the bible says gossip's like choice morsels (gasps) and they taste good at first it's like chocolate covered poison right yeah give me a little bit of that and then it's like i don't think that was a good choice (laughs) and it's easy to get caught up in gossip either listening to it or bringing it and sometimes it seems kind of entertaining and fun Sometimes people use it to feel better about themselves and put someone else down. Mm. But in the end, gossip, they're words that we use that don't honor God or honor other people. And we're called to love God, love other people. And the Bible is very clear. Gossip betrays a confidence. Mm. It separates close friends. And it often travels with slander, arrogance, disorder. It's very unhealthy. It's toxic, but it's also very common. Mm. And just recognizing when it's happening is a big first step in starting to go to the Lord with that. So how do you stop it? Let's say you're in the middle of a conversation and you realize, okay, I need to extricate myself from this. I need to steer this in a different direction. What's the best thing to do? It takes a lot of courage. Yes. And I like that phrase, courageous conversations. When someone's starting to deliver the gossip to you, have a go-to phrase. It could be, I don't think that's for my ears. Or, Ooh. you know, let's talk to that person directly. Or it could be a redirect where you say, hey, let's talk about the game. Uh, <laughs> so you use your style, choose your style. It could be a redirect, a little more of a rebuke. But ultimately, you're loving the person because it might be a blind spot for them. They might not realize it. And the test is, would we say it if the person was here? And really, we've got to be honest. I think a lot of times in church and Christian circles, we slide to what's passive, and sometimes we get passive-aggressive. Mm. And instead of just having those direct conversations that are difficult, but we bring honesty and humility, love and truth, we need to ask God for courage so we can talk to people about the things that concern us, bother us. And we can pray as well for the situations that are close to our heart. And so don't fall into that trap of gossip or build that pattern in your life. And you can change the conversation. You can change the culture. You can change some of the friendships that you have. Sometimes that's necessary because if people gossip about five other people when you're around, you're next. Like yes. You're, you're going to be talked about as well. And uh, Erica, I like this phrase as well. We're designed to communicate. We mm. are designed to talk and share interesting conversations and information. So gossip about the Lord. Gossip (laughs) about who He is, what He's done, what He's done in your life. You know, share the good things. The Bible says don't boast in yourself, but boast about the Lord. Start spreading some good news around the sound, some hope, some stories of inspiration and transformation and Start talking about the Bible, where you live, work, learn, or play. Spread that kind of gossip. Yes, it spreads like wildfire. It's our friend, Pastor Jesse Bradley from Grace Community Church and host of the Bonfire Podcast on Purposely. We appreciate you so much, Pastor Jesse. Keep sharing the good news, Erica. Thanks so much.